really, really cool to see. And, oh, okay, at this point, we actually have classrooms. So the classroom looks like a normal good classroom. We have a teacher, which looks a lot like a Yano, but like an older version of a Yano with, like, way bigger um, body. <laughs> and then, let's see, what else can we take a look at? We'll go up. I want to check, was the roof even implemented at this stage? Oh, here's another classroom. This is where we're supposed to go to class. The same teacher in both of the classrooms. Let's see, was there an actual roof? I'm really curious. Yes, there was an actual roof. Hey everyone, my name is Felix and welcome back to more The Ender Simulator. Today we're doing something a bit different. I thought I never really checked out the old versions of Yander Simulator. When I started playing Yander Simulator, I started playing wherever the newest version was at the time. So I actually never played the old things. So today I think we're gonna go through some of the old versions of Yander Simulator. Because I think it's interesting and I actually kind of want to see what was in them. So the oldest one I could find to download, uh, where there was actually something in it, is this one, and this one is from, I think it's from 2014, the 13th of November, and it seems like all it is, is just a map test, so we're gonna check, and wow. Actually, I think this is a good thing, because I see a lot of people talking about how there hasn't been any improvements, or enough updates in Yander Simulator, and this is definitely uh, making me feel like there's a huge difference in the game, what it is now, compared to, well, this. Although, it is actually kind of funny that the character, uh, Ayano, and the model seems to be pretty much exactly the same. I mean, obviously not as many hairstyles, and I guess that's it. Is that really this old version? It's just to test out the map? Uh, yeah, okay, so I guess it's- <laughs> that's it. Uh, I guess we're just gonna go out on the top floor and see. Is there even anything out there? Uh, nope. Okay, well, that was the November 13th version of Yander Simulator from 2014. So that's a really long time ago. Okay, let's see the next one that I found. Alright, so here we go. This is the December the 1st of 2014. And there's no actual menu yet. Like, you just immediately go into the school. And I guess these are the lockers. So the test is to see if there's actual lockers. Is, is that it? I, I think that is actually... <laughs> The purpose of this build. It doesn't seem like there's anything else. Like, you can't go outside. I guess you can go up. But that's it. Wow, okay, so that really wasn't a lot. I wonder who actually saved all these versions, because there's like nothing in them. Alright, so this one is from December 13th of 2014. And as you can see, there's actually looking a lot like a uh, kind of game. Like, there's actual elements in it. Like, it's not just an empty school. Okay, so we got Senpai. We need, oh, we actually have Senpai, and we have the Senpai, uh, what is, what is it called? The barrier? The field. And we have Ayano with a blue hairstyle. I actually read about this before. Apparently, she used to be, like, uh, an enemy or something, because there wasn't a lot of models, so <laughs> under them, we just changed the hair color, and that would be, like, a new character. So that's actually really cool. I wonder if there's any weapons. Can you even kill people in this version? No, but oh, you have the speed up thing, so you can actually run faster. I guess that was the thing that was implemented very early. And you have the school, which I guess is the thing that was in the last build. And you can actually go upstairs. Okay. Well, we went all the way up. There's nothing here. I guess that is probably it for this build. Yeah, <laughs> she's still here. And <laughs> looks out. I guess that's it. Alright, so I'm gonna keep checking. Actually, this is really interesting for me. I'm gonna see the next build that I can find. Okay, so here we go. This one is from January the 15th of 2015. And, oh, we actually have a weapon. This is actually really interesting. Alright, let's see. Can we kill Senpai? No, we can't. I mean, yeah, I don't think you can ever kill Senpai. But, oh, we also have so we can change clothes. Which, uh, I guess was pointless since we had the same clothes. And, we can actually kill... Or at least attack blue haired Ayano. I want to see how does this work. Okay, pretty good. There's no sound, but they do react, and there's like blood splattered all over us. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is looking really weird, but it's pretty cool. Uh, 
Yeah, super weird without any sound, but I guess that wasn't a thing yet. I'm just quickly gonna check. I think the school hasn't been expanded, so I think the main thing that was added for this build was just so you could actually kill people, which is a big step actually, but yeah, okay, so the school is the same. I guess we're gonna check out the next version. This is actually really interesting to see like how it's slowly being added. I wanna see if Senpai reacts uh, when I have blood and everything. I think he doesn't. No, Senpai is just standing there like a robot. Okay, now we get sound, at least. That's a pretty big improvement. This is from February the 1st of 2015, I think at least. We can still grab a knife. Oh, okay, we got rival Shan, which we can't kill. But at least she exists. And then we have Ayanos walking into the school. Let's see if there's anything in the school. I think... There might be nothing else. Like, I think the main thing that was added was that there is sound. Yep, that seems to be the thing. And then we still have a bunch of blue haired Ayanos. Let's see, when you attack, is there a... Nope, there's still no attack sound. So I guess that wasn't implemented either. But that's really cool though. It's really cool as well that they actually do react. I guess they were doing that before as well. But anyway, uh, let's <laughs> take a look at the next build. This is the 15th of uh, February build, and oh, here we can see a bunch of weapons were actually added. Screwdriver, box cutter, scissors, syringe, and knife. But I think, oh, okay, <laughs> now Ayano also have red hair, and I guess yellow hair? Let's try the box cutter. Yeah, that seems to be it. Oh, we can drag the body too. Can we actually put it in the incinerator? I'm really curious. I think, yeah, it is actually possible. All right. That's very cool. <laughs> that was an interesting animation. And then, oh, we can't mop up things yet. So many different colors of the hair. That's all Ayano <laughs> models. But I think that's probably everything that is in this build as well. Yep, that seems to be everything. So <laughs> we're gonna jump to the next build. All right, here we go, and uh, this is the 15th of March build. I jumped over one version that I could find. <laughs> wow, this is so strange. The final game will have better graphics and animations. I believe you. All right, so I guess there's a menu now. Well, it, there kind of is one. All right, interesting. And we actually have a bedroom, and I actually really like the way this bedroom looks. I guess it's not as big as the other one, and there's no music, but uh, this is pretty interesting. All right, let's actually go to the school. Yes, let's go to the school. All right, here we go. So we're at school now. Uh, let's see if anything else is different here. Oh, there is also a sword. Well, a katana has been added. Let's see, can we also mop up things? I think we are able to do that. Yes, we can. So that was also added in this version, or maybe in the version before. Still can't attack <laughs> rival Shan, and I think Senpai still doesn't react. Nope, he doesn't react if we run with a weapon in front of him. And there's a bunch of different Ayanos. Okay, so you can see here, the hair cells are starting to change a bit, and they actually do react when you uh, kill someone in front of them, so that's pretty cool. And we have insanity going on as well. Oh, stay away from me. I, I will. All right. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, and we even have the mopping up the blood, disposing of the weapons and everything. Hmm, that's actually really interesting, really cool. Let's see if there's anything that we can put outside here. Nope. So I guess you're supposed to dispose of everything here. Let's see. We're gonna change and we're gonna dispose everything. I actually wanna see how this works. Let's activate it. Okay, so we got rid of two. I guess we need to mop up the blood as well. Well, we should probably get rid of the bodies, too. Oh, we can't because it's busy. All right. And we're gonna dip it. Wow, I didn't know that this existed in the game for so long. All right, so just out of curiosity, I want to see what happens when uh, the police or whatever, when the time runs out in this version. This is from 2015. The 15th of March, uh, so yeah, I'm really curious. And you can see we actually did mop up all the blood. Okay, the police arrived at school, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. 
they decide to take Yandershan into custody. Her crime will eventually be uncovered and she will never be able to speak and confess her love to Senpai. And there's an actual ending scene. And there's some music. That's cool. Alright, so here we go. Uh, I actually jumped one month ahead. There's quite a few updates that I could have downloaded in between. I decided I want to make it like a month uh, <laughs> jump because I want to see what's actually happening. Okay, at this point, there's actually the normal intro scene and the normal menu, I guess. Oh, that's actually really cool. So, in the April 15th version, so 2015, I guess it is, that existed. Wow, that is really cool. And at the same time, oh, we still have the same room, though. And the basement existed. I'm not going to go to the basement. Oh, I should have, actually, but I won't this... But I won't, because uh, well, I'm guessing it's going to be in the next update of the game that I'm going to check anyway. So then we can take a look at it. But you can see, apparently the basement existed at this point. And then, oh wow, okay, so I guess this is where the PE class was added, or, or whatever you want to call this. Uh, does this actually work? You can actually go into it. So this was way more implemented at one point. Huh, that's actually really interesting. I guess this is kind of taking a place back, or, or whatever you want to call it. Like, it's been pushed back, because this, I guess, was a big thing in the beginning. And now, no one really goes here, plays in the current version of the game. Because it's not really, like, implemented, but... Hmm, that's actually really interesting. I didn't know that. Maybe there's even, like, some weapons, or... Oh, you could probably kidnap people here. I think I've seen videos of that, like, a really long time ago. Hmm, that is interesting. And there's, of, yeah, there's nothing in here. So I guess that's probably why this has taken a seat back, because, uh, well, yeah, you can see, a lot of stuff here still isn't really implemented, even in this early stage. Interesting. Alright, let's also go take a look at the school. Has the school been implemented? Is there, like, floors and stuff? And, oh, look at that, we actually have different hairstyles, we have different models. I guess this is where Yanderdev really was implementing a lot of things, because you can actually see the characters and models and stuff taking place, but the school still isn't implemented, as you can see, or I'm pretty sure. Never mind, I was wrong. <laughs> this is actually so you can go to class, and I guess there's at least a beginning of classrooms. You know what, let's go to class, I want to see what was actually implemented. What can you do? Oh, okay, so it's just like now. Interesting, it's just that the classrooms, well, they weren't really classrooms. <laughs> let's see, who is the green-haired senpai? Hayato! Oh, okay. So yeah, he has been definitely updated. He used to just be green-haired senpai, and now he has like a totally different look. Really interesting. Really cool to see. Yeah. Alright, mm, I think we've seen everything that was in this part of the update. It's really hard to know though, because I'm just downloading like different versions of the game to see what used to be in it. Oh, and they actually have so the gate closes. Ah, oh, that's interesting. But I can't really see, you know, like the update nodes. Maybe if I went and checked that Yandere Dev's actual blog, I would be able to. But I've checked out so many versions now, what I am gonna do is, I am gonna jump in at least one more month and see what happened in one more month of the game. In the game's de development. Let's see. Alright, here we go. At this point, it was 6% complete. Hmm, that's, that's interesting. Alright, and this is the 24th of May version, and oh, okay, we can already see people are supporting the game. Uh, we have like the normal loading screen. I'm pretty sure that's like the normal one at least. I mean it is a bit updated and oh this almost looks like the normal <laughs> week screen. And then we have this room. So this room wasn't updated at this point. Uh, let's actually go check out the basement this time. This will probably be the last build of the game that I check out because I've been recording this for a really long time and it takes a really long time to download each build. But if you guys are interested in this and you think this is a cool idea, definitely leave a like on the video, so I know that. But I find this really interesting myself, since I never played the game back in the early days. And, uh, hmm, this basement actually looks like a cooler basement than the one that we have now. I don't know, I really like it. Alright, uh, I guess that was it. Okay, uh, let's actually go to school. Let's see what's different in this update. Okay, here we go. We can actually see... Wow, there's a huge difference. This is like the gardening club, I think? Wow! This looks so different. 
I I honestly really like this. This is such an interesting design. Maybe this is like the plaza or the beginning of the plaza, but it was placed outside instead of inside. Wow, this is... Honestly, this is really interesting. I wish it didn't take so long time to download each version of the build. I'd probably try to do like a comparison between all of them then. But uh, let me know in the comments too, when did you start playing Yander Simulator? What was the first version of the game you played? I'm really curious because like I said, I am actually pretty new to the game overall. But uh, okay, I'm really curious. Can we move these containers? No, at this point you couldn't. We also have all the different characters. They are kind of implemented. I mean, yeah, they still don't really have that <laughs> big difference between them. Really, really cool to see. And oh, okay, at this point we actually have classrooms. So the classroom looks like a normal good classroom. We have a teacher, which looks a lot like a Yano, but like an older version of a Yano with like way bigger um, body. <laughs> and then let's see, what else can we take a look at? We'll go up. I want to check, was the roof even implemented at this stage? Oh, here's another classroom. This is where we're supposed to go to class. The same teacher <laughs> in both of the classrooms. Let's see, was there an actual roof? I'm really curious. Yes, there was an actual roof. And uh, you know what? I like this roof. It looks nice. It looks super tiny though. I guess at this point, the game really was way, way smaller. And there's no real fan here either. At this point, the, there's only really one thing I want to do before we end the video. That's actually go into the newest version just to like get a feeling of how big the difference is. We're also just, we're gonna very quickly run around and see if there's anything else. No, I think that's it. But yeah, I actually really like this idea. This looks really cool. A more open thing like this, I would actually really like this for the gardening club. Even though maybe not like this, but you know, a bit more open. Is this supposed to be melons? I, I don't know what this is supposed to be, but it looks really nice. I actually like this uh, little park thing. Okay, so like I said, this is from May the 24th. Now let's jump ahead way, way, way more into the current dates build. I really want to feel the difference between them. <laughs> All right, so here we go. <laughs> it's so strange, but yeah, you can see the loading screen. I mean, it is actually very similar and this loading screen too. But small details have been changed and fixed. As you can see, I mean, obviously the room start off in looks totally different. Let's actually go to the school. I mean, this loading screen it used to not be a thing. And here we go. I think maybe I have some modded files in this version of the game. So some stuff might look different. Uh, no, actually, okay. This seems to be the normal version of the latest build of the game. And uh, yeah, wow. Actually, the difference is so huge. The school is so much bigger now. It used to be so small, and now everything is so huge, and uh, the plaza... You still got Rival Shan not being part of the game, though. It's kind of weird how Rival Shan has been, like, not really active, or whatever you call it, for so long. But at the same time, it's kind of cool to see that she has stuck around for so <laughs> big part of the game. And then we got the gardening club over here. You know, I think I did actually like it when it was, like, open here. I really like that part, even though I guess it's not even the same club. This wall thing, I don't really like that. I don't like it being closed in, but maybe there's a reason for it to be like this. Still, that is gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys like this. If you want me to do something similar in the future, I mean, I only went to 2015, and between 2015 and the latest version, as you guys can see, there's a huge, huge difference. Like, for example, even the gym teacher wasn't even implemented at that part. Like, she didn't even exist. But that is gonna be it for this video and this comparison. This took me a long time, so I'd actually really appreciate if you did leave a like if you watched it and enjoyed it. And like I said, I'm really interested to know uh, when you actually started playing and watching, I guess it's kind of the same thing, the Under Simulator, and what you think about the difference between then and now, and uh, that's gonna be it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you in another one. Goodbye.